Hi guys, I'm Sarah. And I'm Nick, and this is Cat Micro TV. And today is the day you've been waiting for, guys. Finally, we are able to talk about the top six feature enhancements for SolidWorks 2018. Top six? It's a bit of a weird number. It is a weird number, guys, because there's four of those points that are in the vault. No, not the PDM vault. Don't get it mixed up. It's the proverbial SolidWorks vault, guys. The secret vault. All so right. to help us introduce the top six features, we're going to bring on our technical director, Jairo Castellanos. Hi, Hyro. Thank you so much for your time today. Thank you very we know much. you're busy. Thank you for having me. No problem. So let's get right into it. Let's talk about the top six feature enhancements in SolidWorks 2018, starting with sketch productivity. So sketch productivity, there are three main enhancements. Mm -hmm. First of all, is uh, the ability to mirror 3D sketch entities. Okay. We, wow. we, we were able to mirror 2D sketch entities, but now we can do 3D sketch. This is very important for routing, for people that are doing more organic designs, which is the trend. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, then we're also doing uh, mirroring the sketch, but based on a plane, not necessarily on a, on a line, but it was, it was a, a limitation before, both for 2D and 3D. And then using the new technologies, a stylus in the Windows system, now we can sketch on a, with, a, with a stylus and then it, it'll get converted into a sketch entities. So a, a, a line that you, you sketch, it can converts to a line, an arc, a spline. So someone could use a tablet or a, tablet, a Microsoft exactly. Surface with, yep. a, with a stylus pen, correct? correct? Yes. Okay, great. Wow, that's fantastic. So you know what, another, another functionality that was introduced at SolidWorks was the assembly delighters, the welcome screen. You want to tell us a little bit about yeah. that? Yeah, so in, in the welcome screen, we, we had a, a previous welcome screen, screen uh, when, when you open an assembly or would you, would you open, uh, you hit the open button, mm -hmm. you'll see uh, the previous assemblies or parts that you had. And we had that before, but now it's been enhanced. Now you have access to my SolidWorks to the support. Wow. Uh, your resellers can micro solutions <laughs> and uh, and then more information about the, the drawings and the parts and the assemblies that you're opening oh wow oh, perfect. that's great okay. so talk to us about 3d interconnect this is something that gets really excited I really about. really like this guys so, so Hyrule you know what there's been a lot of buzz a lot of conversation about 3d interconnect and I'm sure everybody at home wants to know what all the all the interest is about. Can you tell us? Yeah, so uh, 3D Interconnect was introduced in 2017. That's mm -hmm. right. And it was the ability to open and leverage uh, CAD files that were not native to Solar. Okay. And we started with CAD files that are, were, were uh, an inventor, a, a Pro-E or a Creo, and a CATIA files. Okay. Yeah. Now we have extended that functionality to neutral CAD files. Wonderful. So I just uh, JT, uh, step files, step probably, files yeah. Yeah, and, and so forth. Not only that, now we can also, on top of the body, the geometry, we can also bring uh, sketch entities and curves. Wow. Right, wow. so we can continue with that. And as well, most important, is the, uh, is the ability to bring custom properties, wow. which means that your bill of material is going to be as complete as if you had been be created that with a native software. I feel like that's going to make a lot of people yeah. very, yeah. very happy. Yeah. Right. <laughs> we'll address a lot of questions about legacy right. data as well. Legacy right. data, suppliers, I mean, right, of course. people use websites and, and, and providers to download content. Yep. Now that information is going to be more complete and easy to access. Wonderful. I hope you guys are taking notes because that's a big one. That's <laughs> a big one. So about fabrication delighters, there was a little bit of talk about that self-fixtures design techniques. Right. Can you elaborate? Yeah. So so we've had in SolidWorks uh, what we call the plastics tools for a while. Okay. And, then, and these tools is, uh, is a niche uh, feature that it enables you uh, to create a both, uh, uh, for example, a hook and a, and a groove or a, or a lip and a groove uh, in, the, in the plastic parts, right? So when, when you're creating kind of the male and the female, it's already kind of producing a feature in both components. Okay. Now this one is enhancing that with, with more functionality. But we have a lot of customers who deal with very large assemblies, and sometimes that can be frustrating. So what has changed now inside of 2018 that they can look forward to? Right, so, so yeah, uh, the, the more we add functionality to SolidWorks, the more people embrace SolidWorks, the more they add to it. Right. And then, then the problem comes with, now we have this mass assembly, we want to include everything in it, now what do we do? So we, uh, throughout the years, there has been a lot of different methods and features that SolidWorks has added to the software to increase that ability to use larger assemblies. Uh, this year, in order for 2018, they have increased the, the ability to use a graphics-only model. 
right? So we had the open in last assembly review that would op only open the graphics and you could can see and, and view things in there, but there, there wasn't much that you could do with that model. If you really wanted to work with it, then you had to then resolve and then load the entire thing. Now we have the ability to work with that graphics model as well as loaded components, yeah. right? So now you can, you're gonna be able to do more with that uh, kind of very light format. Perfect. Wonderful. Well, hey guys, last but definitely not least, generative design or topological optimization. All right, can you tell us a little bit more about that? I think it's important to mention here oh, yeah. too, Nick, that simulation is one of Hiro's passions, mm -hmm. guys. He's actually known around these parts as our sim guru. So if you need some sim work, <laughs> this is your guy to call. So, so yeah, so this is a very, very exciting enhancement for me. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> So what we've had optimization for a long time, mm -hmm. you know, almost since the beginning of, of the solar simulation project. But the way that we had to define that is that we needed to know what is it that we wanted to optimize, mm -hmm. right? So as we were modeling that in SolarWorks, a model in SolarWorks, we would define a dimension and then we could say, yeah, optimize that dimension. What is the thinnest you can get? Yeah. What is the thickest that you can get yeah. within these constraints? But you have to know what you needed to, to optimize. Right. Now, the, this uh, new functionality changes that, right? You, don't, you no longer have to define what you're optimizing, you're defining the constraints. You're gonna define, right. look, this is gonna be supported on, a, on an axis, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna have a load this big, what shapes do I have to do? And this is gonna you know, continue the trend to more organic shapes, more shapes that are optimized for, for the product. Well, thank you so much, Hara, for joining us. We really do appreciate thank it. You. And so before we let you go, I mean, is there anything else? Anything else that we missed? Anything that you want to allow? Yeah, one more thing. I, okay. I want to talk about PBM. Okay. Oh, it's also, right. also okay. my passion. Yes. <laughs> Second to the simulation. Uh, new enhancement in 2018. Yeah. Uh, there is a bidirectional communication between the revision table and PBM. Okay. We used to be able to, in, in 2017 and before, to, to grab information out of custom properties of the drawings, out of the title block, mm -hmm. but not out of the revision table. Right. And now we can write, read and write to that revision table, which uh, puts everybody on the same page. A lot of people use the, the paper to, to follow who is, has revised. Some people use PDM. Now you can do both, and they, they're both going to be seen. Great. Also, uh, as a sneak peek for future videos, we have uh, a new product coming out uh, later on okay. for PDM. Okay. So more, more to come. Exciting, exciting yeah. stuff. Jairo Castellanos, everybody. You know, it, it is truly an honor to have him on mm -hmm. Cat Micro TV, you guys. He really is a wealth of knowledge. And he's so handsome. <laughs> Because he's like the whole package, eh? Exactly. Smart and handsome, guys. It doesn't get any better than that. Okay. So he will be joining us, as we mentioned, on uh, upcoming episodes. And if you've missed any episodes, don't worry about it, guys, because they're all online for you to marathon. Yep. And don't forget to follow us on LinkedIn, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. I'm Nick. I'm Sarah. We'll see, we'll see you soon. soon.